So now we're going to get into where this is all coming from. This is a book from the 15th century. It's a picture of the devil, you know,、uh, and this is something, you know, Muslims used to sometimes depict things. Kitab al Bulhan. But I want you to look at his hands. You see this sign? I, I don't even want to do it on film because people will take a clip and then have, have me in one of those pictures doing that sign. It's an evil sign. We should, don't do these signs, right? And kids watch Spider Man and then they want to do the sign because Spider Man does it, right? And you don't want to be a Spider Man, right? You want to be a human man, right? Not an arachnoid, a humanoid. These signs, even this one, which I don't like doing, but that sign, Muslims should not do that sign. That actually comes out of magic. These are signs that were,、uh, they're, 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 they're magical signs. We have no symbols in our religion. Even this, the, the crescent and the moon, it's a Seljuk tradition. The Prophet ﷺ had no symbols in his religion. It's one of the miracles of our religion. We do things in cultures, this is Urf, where you greet people. Even some of the ulama considered waving to be makru because they said it was ishara to nasara. And you see this in the books. I mean, that for me is a little extreme. I don't, I don't follow that. But that was my point is they were very cautious about these symbols because they know these symbols have meanings. This is why gangs do all these symbols, right? Because this is demonic stuff. So that is a very important symbol. Now, this. Is one of this is what they worship, these Satanists,、uh, Baphomet. If you notice, he's androgynous, so it's a male female mixture. Also, making these signs. You see the signs he's making using this sign because 11 is the devil's number. Because 11 is one beside one. And you will notice that in their numerology, they use 11 a lot, and they like multiples of 11 11, 22, 33, 66. They like these multiples. Imam al Ghazali says in their magic, they, they know the, the, the secrets of numbers, and so they use numbers. The, the Prophet ﷺ, when they used magic on him, they blew on 11 knots. Ihdashur uqda. And this is why the Mu'awi the Tain has 11 ayahs, because it protects against their magic. So this is real stuff, people. I'm not making this up. This is real stuff. You either believe it or. You, you don't, and if you don't, it's at your own peril. But this is real stuff. Sihr is a reality in the world, and people practice magic. And one of the practices is, is through the eyes, seducing the eyes in television and, and spectacle. It's the Sihr of the Ayyun. You can see Madonna imitating here Bofamet. Right? Because she's one of them, and she's a numerologist. She is a numerologist. She practices numerology. This is Lady Gaga that everybody's Gaga about. People tell me, you know, oh, you've got a lot of followers on your、uh, Twitter or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I did Twitter one time and regretted it.、Um, but people say, and I said, to me, that means nothing. Lady Gaga's got tens of millions of followers. So the devil has plenty of followers on Twitter. It means nothing. We want to be on the account with God, right? We want to have the angels following us, pleased with us, happy about what we're doing. Now, Maleficent, you could see, see, Disney, they used to have films. Where the witch was evil, and, and now they entice them. This is the fitna. They make a beautiful. See, they used to make them old hags. If you, if you see the old film, the witch was an old hag, but we get them by degrees. Now they take somebody that many people consider a very beautiful woman, and, and they put her in Bofemet's mask, and then it becomes seductive. He takes people by degrees. I mean, what is this? Why are they doing this? Why are you wearing horns? We're human beings. We're not demons. And then you can see these signs. Why do they use these symbols? Now, this man over here, Leve. Anton Leve started the Church of Satan. He wrote a Satanic Bible, and he explained that that symbol that they're all doing, that you saw on the, that. Muslim graphic of the devil, 
that symbol, he said, was a curse symbol of, of devils. That's the way they put curses on people. Right? And you've got people at rock concerts. They're all doing it, thinking it's cool. Marilyn Manson was a follower of Anton LaVey. He has tens of thousands of people go to his rock concerts. He has them openly denounce God openly he says i want you all to reject god tonight and they all do it so this is real stuff people he's very committed to this he takes it he's a minister in the church of satan and they use music because music is fitna it's enticing it sucks you in you like it it's enjoyable this is what he looked like when he was a little kid and this is one of their symbols also. They use astrological symbols. This is him on stage. This was a cover of the Beatles because uh, John Lennon was heavily involved in magic. He was a follower of Aleister Crowley, who was a, 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 a magician uh, and, and, and ha has massive influence on, 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 uh, on Western civilization. He's one of these unknown influences. But they followed him. This is, they're in doctor suits with abortion. They actually, the Warner Brothers was so disturbed by this that they covered it over. Now this has no shock value for people in the West. But in those days it had shock value. But this was an album cover that they chose. Because they believed in free sex. Free sex necessitates abortions. Because people get unwanted pregnancies. Right? This is khutawat shaitan That's how he takes people. That's why Allah says, وَبِرْوَارِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Right? Allah says, وَلَا تَقْتُرُوا أَوْرَادِكُمْ خَشَّةِ إِمْلَاقِ Don't kill your children out of fear of poverty, but then, وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا الْفَوَاحِشِ Don't go near the fawahish that will make you want to kill your children. There they are doing these symbols. You see, and this is another symbol. Even though it means okay, it's actually a demonic symbol that represents 666. There you can see in the background doing the symbol, the Masonic hand. In the, This is a Masonic symbol. When you see them doing that, it's a Freemasonic symbol. The number 23 in numerology is one of their numbers. Now look at this young girl. Mashallah. So wholesome, this Disney girl, right? Look at her. Just wholesome Disney girl, country singer, right? Hannah Montana. If you notice, they use also backwards. It's haram to recite the Quran backwards. This is well known because in magic, they recite things backwards. Alistair Crawley taught them to, to, to learn how to talk backwards. John Lennon actually knew how to speak backwards. There, there's recordings of him speaking backwards. And they do backmasking on their albums where they actually play things in reverse. Led Zeppelin, followers of Aleister Crowley did this on one of their albums. So you're getting literally uh, magical messages. My, my, Hannah is, can be spelled either way, forward and backward, Hannah, right? Oprah, what's her production company's name? Harpo. So when you see these backward uh, things, you know you're dealing with people that are into this uh, magic. Now, here's Miley, right? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And this, with her little horn hair, right? What is this? The, she had millions of followers of little kids in America, and this is what she turned into. And if you look, you see, where did she get that? Kali a demon from the Hindu tradition of destruction because this is a destroyer of the innocence of youth. She, she has literally, she's possessed by Kali. And she couldn't stop putting her tongue out. She was even asked, why do you do that? She said, I just, I feel compelled to do it because this is, this is who's really moving things around, Kali, a demon. And we believe in demonic possession, people. One direction. Let's go crazy, crazy, crazy till we see the sun.
I only, I know we only met. I mean, look at this. I only know, know we only met, but let's pretend it's love. And never, never, never stop for anyone, meaning your parents or God. Whoa, 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 whoa. That should be whoa, like slow down. But it's not. It's tonight, let's get some. Okay, and, and most of you, I don't know if you have these idioms in Malay English, but in American English, that is a very clear idiom about... I, I don't think I need to say anything. So let's pretend it's love. In other words, it's lust, but let's pretend it's love and just get some. This is promoting free sexuality. And, they, and don't think that they put that Muslim in there by accident or because he was talented. They knew exactly what they were doing. Zayn Malik is a minion of these people. This is a simple fact and a reality. And I'll say it openly and publicly. This is being live streamed. People can make fun of me. They can laugh at me. They can think I'm crazy. They said the same thing about the Prophet So I'm not ashamed of being called Majnoon. If they could say it about the best of creation, then who am I to reject that honorific title from the people it comes from?